Okay, red on yellow, kill a fella. A Georgetown family used the popular rhyme to confirm they had a coral snake on their hands. Jay Hirsch emailed us these photos last night after a jogger first spotted it on the street. The sighting comes as there is a nationwide shortage of coral snake anti venom. New at noon, KXAN's Aaron Cargill is live at the Texas Parks and Wildlife headquarters with why you could see more of those snakes, Aaron. That is right, Sally. Good afternoon. The Hirsch family told me that coral snake was about two feet long. That is about the length of my right arm, and it was about the width of a marker. Now, it's the rain and cooler temperatures that are driving them out of their underground habitats. Of course, last night we had a little cooler temperatures and lots of rain yesterday, and it is not unlikely to see them in residential areas and at night because they are nocturnal. The Hirsch family lives in northwest Georgetown along a green belt. The good news, coral snake bites are extremely rare. Texas Parks and Wildlife say less than 1% of reported bites in the U.S. come from coral snakes. They have extremely small fangs, and so if someone is wearing any kind of protective garment like gloves or pants or shoes, uh, the snake will not be able to bite them. Now, there are snakes like the king snake that is often mistaken for a coral snake. Just remember, if the red and yellow bands touch, it's poisonous. Snakes that have red and black bands touching are non-poisonous. The best advice is just to respect any snake and stay away. Now, as far as getting treated for a coral bite, there is no anthem venom even being made anymore. It wasn't profitable enough because there wasn't a very high demand. Now, efforts are underway to get a new company on that, but right now, the anti-venom, for at least for coral snakes, is in extremely short supply. We are live in southeast Austin, Aaron Cargill, KXA in Austin News.